Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about something kind of interesting to me and a lot of people because I always get questions about it. As you guys might know, I bought my BMW, I want to say, two years ago in 2019. I bought it January 1st, 2019. So it was literally two years. And in this two years, I bought a lot of different things. I'm almost finished building my engine. I basically only have two more mods to do to the engine. Those are pretty expensive. That's the main reason I haven't done it. Like upgrading the turbo, which is like 4,000, 2,000, 3,000. I'm not down to spend that much money one thing i always get asked is what is the different things i put into the bmw how much money i spend totally because it's pretty much like a lot of money more than 2000 so i want to go through the list i want to give you a little rundown of all the mods i've done how much everything costs so far and i also want to talk about was it worth it was it not worth it what would i've done different why i chose a specific kind of mod some mods that i've had before and now i don't have them for certain reasons like they broke so Let's get started without no further ado. This is a video on how much money I spent to my BMW so far and what's it worth it. Let's find out. And I'm not gonna be lying to you guys. I'm gonna be using my laptop because I don't want you to guys be like, oh, he's lying about the price. No, I'm gonna be using my laptop to show you specifically how much each part was. I wanna write it down because I don't wanna forget because it's a lot of parts. I wanna show you exactly how much they were, what website I used. So yeah, let's get started with this. All right guys, so I already wrote down the list of mods that I've done to my car. I'm gonna divide it in two different sections, which is the first one's gonna be engine mods. The second one's gonna be visual mods. And I can already tell you, I already wrote down everything that I can name from the top of my head. It was 17 total mods so i'm gonna be telling you guys specifically what they all are how much money they are so let me do a little research right now i'm gonna write down how much it was and i'll give you the little rundown of how much money it was and what kind of part and what they work for all right guys so i just finished writing down each one of the mods i look up the price and the brands i remember which brands it was but just to make sure i looked into my history of my purchases so like i said have 17 i just realized right now how expensive they are i mean it's gonna be fun like doing this video because it's gonna be like damn i spent that much money the car doesn't even beat a hellcat but i mean i'm just playing but like let's get started with the engine mod let's get started so the first mod i have on my list is my charge 5 the charge 5 was 220 bucks the brand of course it was vrsf like you guys know i worked a lot with them in the past why did i change the charge 5 the reason why i changed it was because i have an issue with the boost the car was hitting you know this car stock back then i didn't have a lot of mods this car stocks come with a 300 horsepower mine came because it's the M performance came with a 330 horsepower and I was hitting 280 at the best days 250 that was the main problem I was losing boost at first I thought it was my turbo inlet pipe but it wasn't so I found that it was a charge pipe I replaced it I bought it and it came good I was back to do my 325 330 340 horsepower second mod I have is the boost pipe the boost pipe if you guys know the air this is the intercooler one side is a charge pipe the other side that connects to the turbo is the boost pipe so that one was pretty cheap actually it was 180 bucks it was also from brsf the reason why i changed it was because i didn't want to have any more plastic or like the groomy parts of my car and i also changed it because that one supposedly gives you like i want to say 10 to 15 horsepower because it's better instead of being the silicon it's like the material of the aluminum or the steel i'm not sure which one it is of the charge pipe and what that one is basically it will be give you a better airflow to the turbo to an air cooler than to the charge pipe than to the engine bay so it was related to that the third let's talk about my intake okay so so my intake was literally the first engine mod I ever did to my car. I didn't really know a lot about mods back then. So I, like everyone else, oh, I want to get an intake. I got an intake and my intake was 450 bucks. I think that's the most expensive one. My brand is MSD Performance. I know it was pretty pricey, but I don't regret buying it because that intake looks so good because it's like a fat cone. Honestly, it sounds pretty good. I'm going to leave, like I said, like sound clips. I don't know how it actually sounds. <laughs> Uh, 450 bucks for my MSC intake. Let's talk about diverter bra. That was 150 bucks. It was from Go Fast Bits. That one I didn't make a video about it because it was a long time ago. The reason why I changed it was because I just wanted to hear my turbo way more. I, I cannot hear it anymore. Probably it's because my exhaust is way too loud. My intake, and then I mean I still hear it. Don't get me wrong, but it's not as loud as it was before. Uh, but yeah, the reason I changed it was because I just wanted a better turbo response, and I just wanted to hear it basically. So it was the like Go Fast Bits. The fifth in the list 
this is the intercooler. That was pretty pricey. That was 450 bucks. That was also from BRSF. You guys, I posted my video about it. Best mod I've ever done. Because why that mod made me go, let me go to stage two on my tune. I'll have my tune on the list too. Intercooler, there was nothing wrong with the old one. It was just, I wanted to go to stage two really badly because let's be honest, stage one is not really that much. 30 horsepower, 40 horsepower, not really. You don't feel it. You feel it, don't get me wrong, but it's not that much. For the amount of mods I had, you don't feel it. That was the thing. I needed to change my intercooler so I can go to stage two to combine it with the down pipe. So the intercooler was, I want to say, pretty easy to install. The main problem with the intercooler is, like I say, I always do the installs by myself. You guys, if you know if you guys done the intercooler before, but it's kind of heavy. That's the thing. The intercooler is heavy, and the way that you do it is you hold the intercooler up while you're trying to connect the boost pipe and the charge pipe at the same time. You have to level it, hold it, because it's only being held by two screws on each side of the intercooler, which I don't think why they did that. I think they should have done it better. If you guys can see right now in the video I'm leaving, I was fighting with it really bad to fix it. I was able to do it. Intercooler gave me 25 to 40 horsepower combined with the tune, which I think is pretty decent. I think it's pretty good, actually, not decent. I think it's pretty good. 450 bucks. Next, I'm talking about my different hoses that I spent. Okay, so when I was tuning my car, I was modding my car, tuning it. I was pushing more horsepower, more torque, and the hoses for some reason started to give up on me. I only posted one video, but I had different hoses blowing up. I had to replace them, replace O-rings, replace hoses, replace different kind of things all over the engine because they all started giving up. It was pretty frustrating because I will be driving and I don't know where on the test drive, one will break. I fixed them so most of the hoses are replaced, so they should be good. In hoses alone, I spent 200 bucks. Those are BMW OEM. And next was the exhaust. When I bought it, it was a BMW OEM 335 stock. It was pretty quiet, you guys know. So what I did was in the dealership, I changed it to the M Performance exhaust, the MPKK exhaust, I wanna say it's called, one of those. So the M Performance exhaust was pretty pricey, actually. It was 1500 bucks. And like I said, it was BMW original. Like I said, it did not make a Video about it first of all because i didn't make videos back then my first video was actually i want to say my diffuser the exhaust was 1500 bucks bmw and have in mind with all this i'm not counting labor i'm just counting how much the price is because labor i did all the labor exhaust i didn't do it myself like anything with the exhaust i don't do because i don't know how to weld and i don't know anything about exhaust so i don't want to mess up something that i don't know how to do okay move along we have a resonator delete because i'm talking about the exhaust so my resonator delete was like 90 to 100 bucks i'm not sure because i did it a long time ago i did it to a shop nearby my house i did a video about it i mean they, I, I didn't show anything because basically they don't let you because all the virus is going on it was going off last year too so that's why it gave you like a different like sounding to the car it wasn't extremely loud it was really nice sounding so the end performance exhaust with the stock cats and still the muffler but no rest gave the, the car like a little more room to make bigger noise louder noise like more like raspy noise it was pretty good i was happy with it but you know myself i was like i want to go stage two i already had the intercooler i have this i have that i'm gonna go with the downpipe so i got the downpipe that was brsf2 the downpipe was pretty cheap actually it was 250 bucks and the downpipe was a whole journey to do because i bought the downpipe but if you guys must know the downpipes are illegal in california because of missions so you have to find a shop that will do it for you and where i live is pretty stupid because they do it because they think you're gonna snitch on them so it's pretty dumb uh i was so happy with it because it gave the car so much of a, it was sounded alive you know it was so good downpipe make the car completely different it sounded like a sports car like a real sports car i know it's just a six cylinder but if you keep in mind the m3s and m4s are also six cylinders and they sound pretty damn good i gotta accept it's pretty loud like it gets annoying like i said on my video and it smells i don't mind the smell anymore i got used to it but back then i did now i love the smell i want to say the thing that annoys me is the cold stars because they're so loud when you just downshift to third gear on the freeway and you just floor it it sounds so good like you forget about everything you just focus on your exhaust all right and the last engine mod i have on my list is my tune okay so the tune is kind of tricky because you can either get an expensive tune professionally installed by someone like in a shop i'm not gonna name shops because i'm not getting paid for that the shops they'll do a tune they'll do a custom tune for you they'll modify the parts because they need to work with those parts so if you have a bmw and you know what you're doing i want to say that i mean i know what i'm doing now because like i've been doing this shit for two years so i'm pretty used to it now the boot mod is 700 bucks it's 695 but honestly 700 bucks you get one map for free which everyone's gonna do the stage one map and like i said that tune gives you 40 horse 
horsepower 25 to 30 to 40 horsepower depending on your luck okay so after that if you want to get more mods more tunes you have to pay another 50 bucks to unlock all the maps and i'm talking off the shells maps i'm not talking about custom tune maps so don't get it confused 50 bucks to buy all the maps when I meet on the maps, I mean stage two, E30 tunes, aggressive tunes. So I think 700 bucks or 750 bucks, it was kind of like reasonable. I think it, was, it is expensive, don't get me wrong, but the price you're gonna pay for a tune shop or a tuner is gonna charge you a thousand, three thousand, two thousand. I know the one I'm talking about is three thousand, but don't get me wrong, they do a really good job. Three thousand for a tune, I don't think it's in everyone's budget, like I wanna say. So that was the main thing about it. So 700 bucks for the boot mod three, it's pretty good. And I'm not getting paid to say any of this i just my opinion i'm happy with the boot mod i think it's pretty good because like the more you do it the more you get used to it the more you do it the more you learn the more you play with it the more you low know about your car and like how your car works you know okay so that was all my engine mods so now let's get started talking about my visual mods the visual mods so let's get started with my lip spoiler why because that was the first mod i did once again there's no video about it because i was making videos back then my lip spoiler was from keys motorsports and back then this lip spoiler because it just came out it was 350 bucks i think it was free shipping i'm not sure but yeah for 350 bucks for my lip spoiler it was pretty good let's move along carbon fiber diffuser that one was from jhp dynamics my friend david he's a really good guy and that one was 230 bucks i didn't pay shipping because i picked it up i have a video of that one i'm playing it right now it was pretty good price i mean you can get it in keys for 300 i want to say but the carbon diffuser was pretty good it was really easy to install it wasn't that complicated just to take the old one off you have to jank it off completely to install it's pretty easy you only need a drill to make new holes if it doesn't fit sometimes it does so it's all depends on which one you get then i got my p style front lip only the og ones from this channel remember it's that one it was the when i used to have my old bumper i used to have a lip that was really low so this was the bumper and the lip will come all the way down here so it make the car look really low yeah i love that lip it was the best lip I've seen so far on the market. It was from JHP. It was pricey though. It was 400 bucks, but I got it for 350. The reason why I changed that lip, I didn't change it by the way, it broke. How? Because I was driving on the street like 60 and I hit a possum. The lip just broke in half. It broke from the side and the middle. So I bent it and the bottom was completely cracked. So it didn't look good. So it was just better to take it off completely. Let's move on to my license plate frame. I just want to put it in because it's a mod that I bought. I bought that one from uh, the BMW place. It was 50 bucks. There's no video about it because I'm not going to make a video about a frame. It's the M license plate frame. It's pretty nice. 50 bucks. It's pricey, but I, I like the way it looks. The red star bottom on the car. It's just a little push start to turn on the car that was 15 bucks or 12 on amazon i'm not sure the easiest install you've ever done I literally you just get like play-doh or like gum put it in stick it out put in the new one literally done in two minutes mirror caps so the mirror caps i bought them from amazon they were 50 bucks carbon fiber most of the parts they do in the car carbon fiber i just like the way it looks i don't like for forged carbon some people do if you like it that's good i mean uh, everyone has their taste i don't like it personally but my mirror caps were 50 bucks uh that was one of the latest insoles i did it was pretty easy to install i think it was kind of hard to do was taking off the glass part because the glass part didn't i never taken it out before so it was so stuck to the little grommets so i just had to plow it out with a screwdriver and the, you just put it in and stick it out from the other side it was pretty easy now to the last mod i ever did that was the front bumper i got my front bumper from mod bargains uh, you guys if you can know about the bmws you guys see that website mod bargains that bumper was 400 bucks i was pretty happy with it i love the way it looks it's the m style bumper not the m sport but the m m style conversion bumper for the f30 i did a video about it it's playing right now it was pretty easy to install because i've taken out my bumper so many times that i know how to do it now by heart so it's like pretty easy though i think the only hard part was like putting the grills back on the bottom ones and all the parking sensors because i had to take off all the little gooey thingy but it was good i mean it was good so to paint it i had to take it somewhere it was 400 bucks to paint it out i got a little discount so 400 plus 400 for the paint because like the bmw paint is kind of expensive i didn't pay for shipping because i picked it up i drove like an hour and a half two hours away so with that being said that's all the mods i did to my car was it worth it i want to say it was hp i've never done another car the little dials on the car i think that's uh to the crank hp to the crank it's 500 levels so almost a full line what i can tell you is faster than a scat pack and faster than a mustang gt why because my friends have those cars and they cannot even smell me so so was it worth it yes total 
totally was worth it. Was the visual mods worth it? Yes, it was. I feel sad that my P-lip broke. What are you gonna do about it? Move on. Now, let me tell you how much total I spent the car so fast. So let me do the math. I'm gonna use the calculator because I don't know how much this is. So give me a sec. Okay, so I have the total number. I didn't know it was this much. Like I said at the beginning, I thought it was 2,000, 3,000. Okay, so I just added up all the mods I have, all the visual mods I have, and this is the number that it gave me. It's $6,095. Damn, that was kind of surprising. I thought it was gonna be 3,000, but I mean, $6,000. Was that worth it? Totally, hell yeah, it was. So, uh, I know this was a long video. I just wanted to make it because people ask me about it, how much I've spent it in my car so far. Okay, guys, with that being said, that's it for my video. I have, if you guys don't believe me, I have the list of all the mods I did on my car. I wrote it down, I looked it up. So, like I said, I spent over 6,000 bucks on my car. It was worth it, I don't care. So that's it for the video. If you guys like this video, please give it a like and comment. Share it to your friends, family, whatever you guys. If you guys have a BMW, if your friends have a BMW, share it because it doesn't hurt and it helps the channel to grow. So yeah, guys, uh, with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you made it all the way this far, you're a real one because even now, I didn't. This is long. Uh, that's it for the video. Thank you for staying all this way. If you guys wanted to work on your car, do it, man. If it makes you happy, just go for it. I mean, at the end of the day, what are you going to spend the money on clothes? No, do it on your car, bro. That's it. See you next week.